The Realme 3 Pro is part of the Android Q beta program. So if you have a Realme 3 Pro and can't wait to get your hands on Android Q, then you can check out the beta build right away. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through how to do this and also how to get back to regular color OS if you need to. Hey guys, Ash here from FTJ by C4 Retech. And if you do end up finding this video useful, please do consider turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now guys, remember this is Android Q Beta. It is a beta. So it will have some bugs and missing features. Realme has a useful bug list. So I'll leave a link to that page in the description below so you can check that out before you install. And also remember this will wipe all your data. So go ahead and back it all up before you proceed. So now the first thing you do is head on over to the download section in the description below. The first link takes you to this page. Download the p2q.ozip file onto your phone. Now go ahead and turn your Realme 3 Pro off. Once it's off, go ahead, hold the power and volume down keys. Continue holding them till you get to ColorOS Recovery. With ColorOS Recovery, the touch interface works. So tap install from storage device. Enter your lock screen password if asked. Mine's a super secure 123456. Select from phone storage, then wherever you have the file downloaded. In my case, the download folder. Now tap p2q.ozip, confirm, and now wait. This process takes about three minutes. Once it's done, the phone reboots and here you go, we're up and that's the beta program message. Let me run through setup and Android 10 still has the Pi Easter egg, but it is cute as you can see the gesture and all's added. Now you can test this out all you want. If you just want Android Q beta on your phone, you're done with the video for now. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe before you leave. Now, if you wanna roll back, maybe after you've spent some time with Android Q Beta, well, here's how you do it. So go on to the other link from the download section. Now, this gets you Q2P.Z. Remember, going from Android Q Beta to Color OS also causes a data wipe. So back up everything you need. So again, turn off the phone. This time, once the phone is off, we're gonna do things a little differently. We are again gonna hold volume down and power. But the difference here is that we're gonna let go the moment we see Realme displayed on screen. This takes us to Android recovery. This is not a touch interface. Here the volume key is double for navigation and the power key for selection. So use the volume key to get to apply update from phone storage, hit power, navigate to the folder, download in my case. Sorry about the loss of focus. You know, the text is too tiny here. My camera kind of missed it. Anyway, here select the q2p.zip and hit power again. Now this would take a few minutes. Once it's up, you'd be back on regular color OS. So that's pretty much it guys. So if you can't wait and wanna test out the Android Q beta, feel free to, this is how you do it and this is how you get back to Color OS. So if you do end up trying Android Q beta on your Realme 3 Pro, please let me know how it went in the comments below. And I guess with that, we get to the end of this tutorial. Hope you guys found it useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So I guess that's it. Until next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching FTJ by C4 Retech and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao.